I've already taken off the peel with a potato peeler. So now it's just ready to be sliced up quite thin as I'll be demonstrating. only cut up enough for one cup now I'm going to show you how I remove the white skin So I keep this because it will be used to extract the pectin. So with a smaller knife I'm going to remove the segments leaving behind the pit. Just continue and do all the fruit and keep the pith and the white skin separate. So now everything's prepared. I soak the lime peel overnight in water and then I cook it separately the next day just to soften it. Then I drain it and add it to the marmalade. When I made the first batch of lime marmalade, I put the pith into a muslin bag and cooked it with the marmalade. 
Then I tried to squeeze and extract the juice and pectin, but it was slippery and hot, and I didn't much like this method. With the second batch, I made orange and lime marmalade, and I put the pith separate in a pot with some water. Once boiled, I sieved the juice and pectin using a mouli, which worked very well, resulting in a lot of mixture, which I added to the jam pot as I was cooking. Once the sugar dissolved over low heat, I increased the temperature to a rolling boil and I skimmed the froth off the top, which makes for a clearer marmalade. Notice the change in bubbles as it begins to reach setting point. I test on a cold plate which has been in the freezer until it reaches the desired consistency and I was really happy with this result. I hope you found some useful tips. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.